compete well. We've got nearly 26,000 runners out on the course. It's a tough, cold, chilly day, but the rain has stopped, and it's a beautiful day to be running and to remember. It's, it's the largest race we've ever had. About uh, 50 days ago, I was sidelined for three months, and I actually hadn't ran since March 10th. March 10th was my first day back, and I was out from December 10th to March 10th. So, you know, those 50 days, uh, it was really crucial that I put in the miles. So, you know, coming into this race a week ago, I felt really strong, and I knew I would definitely be contending for the title. So, it was just run conservative from the beginning and just stay strong throughout the race. I was just trying to will my body to the to the end. Honestly, I, it was it was every step I was trying just to get to that next gut level. And even though I knew that there wasn't someone ahead of me, I knew there were people behind me. So I was very aware of that. I don't know if it was relief at first, but uh, just so proud of her. I think you know she never ceases to amaze me, but. I knew she had it in her to run well. I was excited she didn't have to sprint at the end this year. Uh, but, you know, she's just, she's an amazing runner, amazing person. You know, and it was just a really um, neat experience. I mean, so many great volunteers, and I just, I really love this marathon. I can't say enough about the help of the city and og &E and especially the neighborhoods who fired up their own chainsaws and went out and cleared the streets so the runners could come through areas like Jefferson Park and the Heritage Hills, all those great neighborhoods that are so beautiful that just lost so much in the storm. Those people were out yesterday morning early clearing the debris and uh, there was a point yesterday that I was, in, I was in doubt if we could do it or if we should do it. I sat down with the city in an emergency meeting yesterday afternoon and they, they never flinched. They just said, we'll get it done. og and &E worked through the night. Uh, I was with og and &E crews at 1 o'clock finishing at 12th Street. I mean, they did a remarkable job. The wind was really brutal from like mile 11 to mile 18. It was a headwind at Hefner. And, you know, if you guys know how Hefner works, the wind is like amplified. So it was tough. Probably around the lake. But even then, I mean, it was tough. But there was a guy who blocked the wind for me the whole time, a friend of ours. And I mean, he was running the full two and he just picked up his pace for me and, you know, answered a prayer for sure. You know, it says a lot about Oklahoma. People are here from all 50 states, 13 countries. It says a lot when they 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 were here already. They saw what we were going through as a city. I think they're pretty amazed that we got it done. Yeah. Uh -huh.